host, DLC, and this, of course, is the start of a very special month for everyone. At least, everyone I know in real life, and the entirety of the internet. That's right, it's Halloween month, and I have lined up some tracks from an assortment of horror-based games, or games that have music that sounds spooky. This is a month-long endeavor, so I hope you can stick around for all of it. Let's start the show, and I'll come around back in a bit with the info.
Let's run down the list of games and their tracks, shall we? The first track that played was Battle with Houston from Lapless Noma, followed by the tracks Creature of the Night from Nosferatu, Vision of Dark Secrets from Castlevania Bloodline, Don't Cry Jennifer from Clock Tower, Frantic Factory from Donkey Kong 64, and Skeletons in My Closet from The Seventh Guest. The Seventh Guest was an interactive point-and-click adventure game originally released on PC. Since then, it has seen many re-releases and is fondly looked back on as one of the better interactive experiences back in the day. Skeletons in My Closet was composed by George Sanger and written by David Sanger. The song itself was performed by George's band, The Fat Man and Team Fat. Aside from that project, George has created music for many hit games, including Wing Commander, Maniac Mansion, and Zombies Ate My Neighbors. More recently, he has composed for games like Yonder and Evil Genius, but nothing much within the last four years, unfortunately. Let's move on to our next set of spooky tracks.
Taranto to My Sister from Blasphemous started us out with our second block, followed by Retribution from Siren Blood Curse, Diner from Countdown Vampires, Who's There from Persona 4, Inside the Mansion from Banjo-Kazooie, and White Noise from Silent Hill 2 finish out the second and last block. It's my job to give you all the information needed for you to find these composers or maybe even check out a new game you haven't yet. But Akira Yamaoka's work on the Silent Hill series is so revered that I feel a bit weird trying to explain to you his influence. Responsible for the tracked white noise and everything off the Silent Hill OST, Yamaoka started out with Konami immediately working on games like Contra Hardcore and Sparkster. Moving on to working on the PC Engine and Sega CD versions of Snatcher, Yamaoka stayed with Konami until 2009 when he joined Grasshopper Manufacturer and began to work on games like Shadows of the Damned. More recently, he has worked on Dead by Daylight, World of Tanks, and Let It Die. He will also be contributing to the Silent Hill 2 remake from Bloober Team. We're going to move on to our final track.
That was our first block of the night, so I'm going to start listing off the songs right here. Up first was Infinite Corridor from Castlevania Curse of Darkness, while afterwards we had Welcome to Rapture from Bioshock, Lazarus' Theme from Darkwatch, BFG Division from Doom, Halloween Town from Kingdom Hearts, and Bugbear's House from Klonoa 2 round out the block. Klonoa 2 Lunatea's Veil vale was an action platformer for the PlayStation 2. Although not a horror game itself, you do arrive at a carnival level where there is a haunted house of sorts that players need to traverse in order to complete. This is the theme for that level, and it's called Bugbear's House. Klonoa 2 was composed by a large list of talent, so I will list them off right here. Kanako Kakino, Eriko Imura, Katsuro Tajima, Asuka Sakai, Kota Takahashi, and Go Shin. All of these composers contributed to Klonoa 2. However, I could not find the exact composers who helped with this track. With that information, we'll move on to our next block.
Our second block of the night started out with the main theme from Alice, Madness Returns. Scissor Man from Clock Tower followed after that. For the rest of the block, we had Return to the Graveyard from Medieval, Gloom Spawn Battle from Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Bullying from Rule of Rose, and finally, we had the main theme from Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion is incredibly adored by those who have played the game, and Nintendo has given the series enough love compared to other titles in their library. Composed by Kazumi Totaka and Shinobu Tanaka, the Luigi's Mansion series has some of the best atmospheric sounds for the type of game it is. Although Luigi's Mansion has what some would consider horror elements, it's approached in a light-hearted way, something more akin to Casper the Friendly Ghost, maybe even straddling the line into Goosebumps territory. Totaka and Tanaka both bring incredible haunting sounds into something that can be played by everyone. Truly impressive. We're going to move on to our final track here. This one's definitely going to get me copyrighted. Enjoy. There's an old town road with mystery of Tom the poet and his muse And a magic lake which gave a light to the words the poet used Now the muse she was his happiness and he reigned about her grace And told the stories of treasures deep beneath the blackened waves Of wonder and still in its misty crown The moon she went down to the lake And in the waves she drowned And now to see your love set free You will need the witch's cabin key Find the lady of the light Gone mad with the night That's how you reshape destiny
Alan Wake was a 2009 horror thriller title that followed the fictional writer Alan Wake as he tries to solve a mystery in the town of Bright Falls. As time goes by, he realizes that everything he's writing is slowly becoming true. Although the game is composed by Petri Alanko, the song here is performed and written by the Poets of the Fall, who appear in the game as the fictional band Old Gods of Asgard, leading into one of the best set pieces in the game. Their work also appears in the game Control, and the sequel for Alan Wake, which we'll be releasing very soon here. It's too many games and not enough time. Those are the tracks I have for you tonight. We got more Halloween episodes coming for you soon. Until then, please sit tight and replay some of our old episodes. We'll see you next week. We'd like to support these composers and games as much as we can. The names are highlighted throughout the show to let you know not only who composed these tracks, but where you may be able to find and support them. Spotify is an option along with places like Bandcamp, YouTube, and SoundCloud if applicable. I thank you once again for listening to today's show, so make sure to follow our SoundCloud and YouTube channel at Gaming Discourse FM. Like and subscribe, hit the bell to get notified when we post a new episode. Follow the Patreon for our sister channels if you would like to hear video game news and watch video content. You can do that by following the Gaming Discourse on YouTube, Twitter, and Patreon. Thank you very much. Keep gaming.